What? So, uh, mung bean proteins and peptides have been reported to possess angiotensin converting enzyme inhibitory activity as well as antifungal or antibacterial. So, huh, this, I'm Ralph and this is Kyle. <laughs> and what we're doing right now is we're doing some scouting out and bringing some new proteins to market. And this one caught our eye, it's called glucadian, glucodian, I should say, which is really a mung bean protein. Now, the deficiency in mung bean tends to be methionine and cysteine, which are two sulfur containing amino acids. However, the company added these two sulfur-containing amino acids to the mung bean and made a pretty awesome, basically, protein powder on its own. It mixes easy in different variations when we're doing our, basically, nonchalant turbidity tests, as you can see. And it has some interesting benefits, as Kyle pointed out. Uh, have been reported to, in, including reduced food intake, body weight, body fat, insulin resistance, plasma and liver lipids, plasma it's glucose. It's actually kind of cool. Again, Ralph, Kyle, yep. signing off from Alki Pharma. We look forward to researching this and bringing it to possibly the market. Catch you guys in a bit. Bye. Bye. That's good. All right, cool. <laughs> See how it turned out, ready? Yeah.